Hey guys, welcome to this Unacademy Cat for MBA channel and in this video, I am going to show you some amazing shortcuts to find out square roots and cube roots. I am sure all of you must have learned some Vedic Maths method to find, multiply the numbers, to find squares and all. But yes, finding square roots and cube roots, it's rarely available. So this is what I'm going to teach you and it will be very useful for any of the competitive exams. So before we proceed, uh, let me quickly tell you a few interesting things about our channel. This is an academy cat for MBA channel. So we conduct daily live sessions over here. We have more than five faculties and they are the best of the faculties in the industry. So if you want to learn from us, uh, yes, make sure that you have subscribed to this channel. And uh, we are going to prepare you for all the management entrance exam, be it a state level entrance exam or national level entrance exam like CAD, SAT, IFT, IRMA and all. So if you want to learn from us, be here and make sure that you have subscribed to this channel. You will get complete guidance for not only entrance exam preparation, but even for group discussion, personal interview, return ability test and all. And yes, everything is completely free. So we conduct this session. Uh, completely at a free of cost as you know an academy is india's largest online learning platform and our objective is to reach out to uh, the nook and corner of this country india right so keep learning with us uh, so yeah there are many more benefits that you'll enjoy so make sure that you have pressed the subscribe button and uh, you are learning with us with our daily live sessions also be a part of this our uh, telegram channel so that you can get some important updates and you can learn with us so guys let's proceed and let's understand methods to find out the cube roots okay so guys uh, before i show you the methods to find out this cube roots you need to remember certain important points so the first thing is you will have to remember cubes of uh, at least 10 numbers you can remember up to 15 numbers it would be really helpful the first thing remember cubes of these numbers okay second you will have to instantly remember the last digit of first nine numbers that is one to nine okay now let me show you a shortcut to remember this last digit guys remember these numbers one four five six and nine and of course zero they have the same last digit you know so if you take any number ending with one or four or five or six or nine or zero the last digit will be the same okay now the remaining digits are two three seven and eight that is number ending with this digits two three seven eight so here is also a very interesting pattern if you look at a number ending with two the last digit in the cube of that number the last digit will, will be eight and if you take any number ending with eight in the cube of that number you will find last digit as 2 same way if you take any number ending with 3 the last digit of the cube of that number will end with 7 and if you take any number ending with 7 the cube of that number will have last digit as 3 so can you remember these points yes so let's go ahead and let's learn these methods suppose you don't remember that uh, you know which numbers cube is 1728 right so what you can do is you can just look at the last digit what is the last digit 8 now which number which digit will have 8 in the cube can i say digit 2 will have uh, uh, you know 8 uh, as the last digit in the cube of that number so yes my number is ending with 2 only then i can have last digit as 8 as you can see over here 2 cube is 8 no other number will have last digit as 8 so I realize that my number ends with 2. See, I'm talking about cube root of a perfect cube number. So I know that this 1728 is a perfect cube number. Only then I can use this method. Now what you need to do is just strike off the three digits. Don't just put those three last three digits aside. Now what is this number 1? Okay, so what is cube root of 1? It's 1 itself. So that means 1728 is cube of 12. It's cube of 12. 1728. Yes, isn't that simple to remember? Let's take few more examples. So suppose I have slightly bigger number. Now the last digit is one. So which numbers cube will have last digit as one? So can I say the number should have last digit as one only then one cube will be one as you can see over here, right? So I realize that my cube root will have last digit as one because one cube is one. Right? That's the first thing. Now once again strike off this last three digits of the number and look at this number. Now tell me which numbers cube 
will be just smaller than 531. So which is that perfect cube number smaller than 531? So if I look at this table, I realize 8 cube is 512, which is just smaller than 531. So there should be 8 over here. So this 531441 is nothing but cube of 81, guys. Yes, have you all understood this? Let's take one more example so that this concept becomes very clear. Suppose you have come across this number. Now the last digit is 3. So which numbers cube will have last digit 3? Can I say 7? 7 cube is 343. So last digit will be 3 over here. So the cube root of this number will have last digit as 7. That's the first step. Now once again strike off the last three digits and look at this number. Now this is 658. So which numbers cube is lesser than 658? It's just less than 658. So if I see this table, I realized once again, 8 cube is 512 and that is less than 658 because 9 cube will be 729. It will be more than 658. So I realized that this digit should be 8. In fact, 87 cube is nothing but 658503, right? Are you enjoying this method? Guys, so when you will be solving questions, you'll find many situations where you can use this method. So I'm sure this method will come very handy when you'll be solving more problems. And once again, let me tell you guys, please attend our daily live sessions. If you are enjoying learning with me, if you are liking my method, I'm sure you will like all our other faculties method, be it quantitative ability, logical reasoning, data interpretation, verbal ability. Everything will teach you over here on this channel, which is Unacademy Cat for MBA right okay so guys now let's quickly understand some methods to find out square roots now square roots i can find out of a perfect square number or i may have to find out an approximated square root of a non-perfect square number so this is uh, these are the two methods that we are going to learn in this video now once again we need to remember certain important points the first thing is you will have to remember squares of numbers up to 25 i'm sure most of the students remember squares of the number up to 20 but i'll suggest uh, you to go for an extra mile and remember till 25 then you will have to remember last digits of the square of first nine digits right so definitely you can remember this point zero one four um zero one five six in the square of these numbers the last digit will remain same zero one five six as simple as that same way two and eight will end in the last digit of four if a number has last digit as two or eight the uh, last digit of the square of that number will be four same way if you take uh, you know a number ending with three or seven the last digit will be nine yeah okay so you can easily remember this thing two eight last digit is four three seven last digit is nine okay so we have almost covered eight digits now which digits are left so of course if you take four uh, last digit will be six right and uh, one more digit is left so we have covered 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 right if i take 9 last digit will be 1 so this is what you can additionally remember are we clear with this just remember this point so once again 0 1 5 6 uh, if a number ends with any of the uh, this digit the square of that number will have the same digits 2 and 8 square of that number will have last digit as 4, 3 and 7 square of that number will have last digit as 9 and 4 and 9 we can easily remember this thing. So once you have remembered this thing let's go ahead and let's quickly find out square root. Now suppose you don't know that 1 0 2 4 what is the square root of this number. So what you need to do is check for the last digit it's 4. So which number square or which digits square produces last digit as 4. So of course it will be. 2 or 8 so i realize my last digit should be 2 or 8 are we clear with this that's the first step okay now strike off the two digits See, in cube root we used to strike off three digits in square root we need to strike off two digits now look at this number 10 okay so which perfect square number is just below 10 can i say 9 and what is 9 3 square so i'll have to put 3 over here so my number will be either 3, 2 or it will be 3, 8. Now how will we decide that whether it's 3, 2 or 3, 8. So for that what you need to do is pick this tens digit and multiply it with the next number. 
So can I say four comes after three and this result is 12, right? Now your this number 10 is less than 12. So we will go with the lesser of these two results. See, we were confused between 32 and 38. That means the units digit, can it be two or eight? We didn't know. So what we need to do is multiply the tens digit with the next number, you will get 12. Since your number, this 10 is less than 12, we will go with the lesser of this two that is 32. So our number will be perfect. The square root of this number will be 32, right? Let me take one more example. Suppose I take a number like, uh, you know, something like say, um, where you can have confusion. So let me take uh, something like one, two, nine, six. Okay. One, two, nine, six. Now one, two, nine, six will be slightly easier. So I'll not take this number. Um, let me think of some other number which uh, where we can actually I can explain you this concept. So if you can come up with one more number, you can quickly tell me or um, let me let me quickly take uh, another number say 1369. Let's take 1369. Okay. Now guys, last digit is 9, of course. So uh, you know whose square ends with 9? Of course, 3 or 7. So I realize that my units digit will be 3 or 7 either of these two. Now strike off the two digits and let's look at this number it's 13. Now which number square is just below 13 so of course 3 square is 9 that's less than 13 so my number this tens digit has to be 3 so my number will be either 33 or 37. Now how will I decide whether it's 33 or 37? So once again look at the tens digit it's 3 multiplied with the next number it's 4 so the result is 12. Now look at this one 13 is it greater than 12 or less than 12 of course it's greater than 12 so that's why we'll go with the larger of these two possibilities so i realize that my uh, you know square root should be 37 have you understood this method everyone yes awesome so let's take one more example suppose 3136 now last digit is 6 so of course uh, you know what is that last digit whose square ends with 6 so it will be four or six. Yes or no? Four square also ends with six and six square also ends with six. So my perfect, uh, the square root will have last digit as four or six. Once again, uh, strike off the last two digits now. Look at the remaining number, it's 31. And find out the perfect square number just below 31. So of course it's 25. And what is the square root of 25? It's five. So my number will be either five, four, it will be either 5, 4 or 5, 6, right? Now, once again, we'll apply the test 5 into 6, 30. Now, this number 31 is more than 30. So, we will go with the larger of 2. So, the number has to be 56. In fact, square root of 3136 will be 56, right? Guys, have you all understood this? Yes? Are you enjoying? So, yes. Once again, keep learning with us. Keep attending our daily live sessions and you will keep learning all the concepts like this one only. Okay, let's take one larger number. Once again, we are trying to find out square root of a perfect square number. Okay, so 15129. So 9 is the last digit. So whose square ends with 9? Of course, it will be 3 or 7. Once again, that confusion. Remove these two digits and look at this number 151. Now, which number? Uh, which perfect square number is just below 151 so I can easily think of 144 it's 12 square yes or no so yes my this number will be 12 and the last digit will be either 3 or 7 so once again I need to decide whether it's 123 or 127 so what I'll do is I'll multiply 12 with the next number which is 13 so this comes out to be 156 and 151 is less than 156 so we will take lesser of these two possibilities. So this square root should be 123. Yes, guys, isn't that simple? So I'm sure once you'll solve other questions, I mean, uh, you know, once you'll start uh, solving questions from quantitative ability, you will be able to apply this method at many places. Okay, now let's understand a method to find out square root of any number. Now guys, you may not require to find out square root of uh, numbers like, uh, you know, 6000 or so. Most of the time you need to find out square root of uh, approximated square root of 200, 300, 50, 30, something like that, right? So this is what I'm going to teach you. Suppose you want to find out square root of 156. 
So what you'll do is you know 156 is not a perfect square number. So what is the uh, you know nearest perfect square number lesser than 156? Of course it's 12. So my answer is going to be 12 point something. Now the method that I'm going to teach you is going to be 100% accurate up to one decimal place and it's almost 80 to 90% accurate up to two decimal places which is a good approximation for you in most of the cases. So let's see how to find out this. Now what is 12 square? 12 square is 144. It's 144. So what is the difference over here? So it's the difference is of 12, right? So uh, your answer will be what you need to do is just write down the 12 over here. Or if you want, you can write down 12 over here. Now divide this 12 by double of this part. That is 12 to the 24. So my answer will be 12.5 approximately. If you actually check this perfect square, it will come out to be 12.49, right? So my answer, if I just round it off up to, you know, a one decimal place, it's going to be 12.5. So this is what I got. Have you understood this? Let's take one more example so that things become pretty clear. Now, suppose I want to find out square root of this number 300. Okay, so once again, um, you know, which perfect square number is just below 300? So of course, 17 square, 17 square is 289. So my answer is going to be 17 point something. Now, what is 17 square? As we just saw, it's 289. What is this difference? It's 11. So just write down 11 over here, divide by double of this part. So 17 to the 34. So now what is 11 by 34? Can I say 11 by 33 is 33.33. So 11 by 34 will be less than that. So this will come out to be approximately 17.32 or 17.33. If you actually check the square root of 300, it will be close to this one. Yes, guys. So have you understood these methods? Yes. And did you enjoy this method? If yes, then you should learn with us and you should quickly subscribe to this channel in case if you haven't subscribed. So my name is Ronaksha. In fact, uh, if I didn't mention that uh, because that's not required, I'm not representing just myself. I'm representing the whole channel and we have the similar other educators, right? So keep learning with us. Let me show you quickly all our educators so that you uh, get an idea. So he is Mr. Akash Pahurkar. I am Ronaksha. Okay, he is Akash Pahurkar, he is Shyam Jagruth, he is a quantitative ability expert and logical reasoning data interpretation expert. Same way we have quantitative ability and LRDA expert Mr. Shyam Jagruth. We have GK expert also, we have verbal ability expert, we have Ms. Apurva who is also verbal ability expert. So you can learn with this best of the educators during the daily live sessions if you are part of this channel right so please quickly uh, you know subscribe to this channel not only subscribe but share this video with your friends and this channel link with your friends you can use your social media like facebook and instagram to make your friends aware about this channel so that they can also learn with us i'm looking forward to be uh, you know uh, looking forward to you be in my live sessions not only my live sessions but even the other faculty's live session so guys see you there Keep learning. Let's crack it. Thank you.